Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 536. The category will be Boats and Ships Trivia. This is 20 questions with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end. It's all about, obviously, boats and ships that you would have heard of, famous from history, current boats, and there's even a fictional boat or two in there. Good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. Made famous by Gordon Lightfoot's 1976 hit song with the ship name in the title, what was the name of the lake freighter that sank suddenly during a gale storm on Lake Superior on November 10th, 1975? The answer is the Edmund Fitzgerald. Question two. What was the name of the Greenpeace boat active in supporting a number of anti-whaling, anti-seal hunting, anti-nuclear testing, and anti-nuclear waste dumping campaigns during the late 1970s and early 1980s? That boat was known as the Rainbow Warrior. Question number three. On August 3rd, 1492, Christopher Columbus and his crew set sail from the Port of Palos in southern Spain on three vessels. There were two smaller vessels and then the flagship, a larger, heavier cargo ship. What were their names? The answer is the Nina, Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Question 4. Also featured in the fictional movie Waterworld, what real-life tanker gained widespread infamy after the March 24, 1989 oil spill in which it hit Prince William Sound's Bly Reef and spilled over 10 million gallons of oil? That was the Exxon Valdez. Question five. A 104 gun first rate ship of the line of the Royal Navy ordered in 1758, laid down in 1759 and launched in 1765. What ship is best known for her role as Lord Nelson's flagship at the Battle of Trafalgar on October 21st, 1805? The answer is the HMS Victory. Question 6. By the time it arrived, the Titanic had already been underwater for more than an hour. But what transatlantic steamship rescued more than 700 people in lifeboats in the early morning hours of April 15, 1912 in the North Atlantic Ocean? The answer is the RMS Carpathia. Question seven. The ship Ernest Shackleton used in his 1908 Antarctic expedition for the South Pole was what 41-year-old schooner of 334 gross registered tons that had been used to hunt seals and whales, but was re-rigged as a barkentine. The answer is Nimrod. Question 8. On May 7, 1915, it was torpedoed by a German U-boat, the U-20, and sank within 18 minutes, killing 1,198 of the 1,962 people aboard. The sinking of what British ocean liner helped provoke the United States into entering the war two years later? The answer is the RMS Lusitania. Question 9. 
Famously portrayed in a 1960 British war movie and a 1960 Johnny Horton song, what was the name of the most famous warships of World War II named after a German chancellor that was specifically ordered by Winston Churchill to be sunk? He said, sink the Bismarck. Question 10. After serving in the Royal Navy on the HMS Eagle, the HMS Pembroke, and the HMS Grenville, what was the British Royal Navy research vessel that James Cook commanded to Australia and New Zealand on his first voyage of discovery in 1768? The answer is the HMS Endeavour. Question 11. Widely accepted as the most famous U.S. warship of all time, what wooden hold three-masted heavy frigate of the United States Navy was launched in 1797, still floats today, and is affectionately known as Old Ironsides. The answer is USS Constitution. Question 12. The first English ship to sail around the world, what was the name of the galleon originally known as Pelican that was renamed by Sir Francis Drake during his global circumnavigation between 1577 and 1580? The answer is the Golden Hind. Question 13. The eighth United States naval vessel to bear the name was, like her predecessor of World War II fame, nicknamed Big E. What was the United States Navy aircraft carrier that was the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier? The answer is the USS Enterprise. Question 14. The second voyage of what famous ship is notable for carrying the recently graduated naturalist Charles Darwin around the world providing findings that played a pivotal role in the formation of his scientific theories on evolution and natural selection? The answer is the HMS Beagle. Question 15. In 1945, Douglas MacArthur signed the agreement by which Japan surrendered to the Allied forces, thereby ending World War II aboard what 45,000 ton battleship before representatives of nine Allied nations on an early Sunday morning in Tokyo Bay? The answer is the USS Missouri. Question 16. What was the name of the English ship that transported a group of English families, known today as the Pilgrims, from Plymouth, England to Plymouth Colony, Massachusetts in the United States in 1620? The answer is the Mayflower. Question 17. On December 4th, 1872, the British Brigantine de Gracia found what ghost ship between the Azores and Portugal, with the sails slightly damaged, several feet of water in the hold, and completely abandoned by the crew? The answer is the Mary Celeste. Question 18. 
What was the name of the ship that Jacques Cousteau, one of the most important researchers in oceanography, equipped as a mobile laboratory for field research and as a support base for diving and filming? The answer is the Calypso. Question 19. Sank during the Japanese attack on the naval base at Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, what ship had more than 1170 crewmen killed and is now commemorated by a concrete memorial that spans the wreckage? The answer is the USS Arizona. Question 20. What was the name of the ship that was the subject of the 1789 mutiny led by Fletcher Christian against the Captain William Bly that has been made into several movies including the 1935 version starring Clark Gable? The answer is the HMS Bounty. That is from the movie, or movies, Mutiny on the Bounty. Well, it's not from. That's what the movies were about, was called Mutiny on the Bounty. And there was at least three. I think there was Mutiny on the Bounty in 1935 with Clark Gable and Charles Loughton. Mutiny on the Bounty 1962 had Marlon Brando in it. And then just the Bounty, which was this same story, 1984 that had Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins in it. So it's been a very popular subject for movies over the course of the last 80 years. And it's a very good story. So the HMS Bounty is the subject of Mutiny on the Bounty. Anyways, question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. What is the name of the fictional 19th century Nantucket whaling ship that appears in the 1851 novel Moby Dick by the American author Herman Melville? The name of the ship that Captain Ahab uses to chase the great white whale is the Peacod. P-E-Q-U-O-D, the Peacod. That's it for today. I really enjoyed this category. Hopefully you guys did too. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to watch Road Trippia. See you tomorrow.